Hello, everyone. Uh, let's start our webinar. You may probably all know that customer schedules are part of the release management process that has their roots in the automotive industry to support just-in-time systems. They were designed to help both customers and suppliers to maintain an uninterrupted flow of work and supplies while maintaining minimum levels of inventory. Today, principles of release management are being applied by companies in other industries. Customer schedules allow you to process sales orders using a set of scheduled shipment dates and quantities rather than individual sales orders. The need to use customer schedule on the supplier side may come from the customer, but the common criteria for using customer schedules instead of discrete sales orders are high production volume, long-term commitments with customers, and frequent shipments to customers. One important element of successful release management in QED is the use of standard electronic data interchange, or EDI, between customer and supplier. But what if you do not have an established EDI with the customer, or need to make changes to the imported schedules, and it's quite time consuming process when done manually, or need a better way to monitor and review existing schedules, or struggle with maintaining schedule orders in QED based on the incoming schedules. At 32Soft, we are constantly looking for ways to improve efficiency of business processes you manage in QED. Today, we would like to show you how you can achieve this in customer schedules maintenance area with 32Soft Customer Schedule Data Loader. This data loader allows you to quickly and efficiently create customer shipping and planning schedules in QED and update existing scheduled orders. Customer Schedule Data Loader, as all 32 soft data loaders, is designed as an Excel spreadsheet. You can store this loader template on your computer or open it from the network drive or cloud. Excel interface gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to reviewing and analyzing information you work with, and this gives you a lot of advantage over using standard QD customer schedules report. After opening a loader, the first thing you will need to do is to click on Setup button to select QED database you will be connecting to. In my example, there are two different databases, and I will select the second one in the list. When working with customer schedules, you may start with existing schedule, copy-paste scheduled quantities from another Excel file, or open an external file in a predefined Excel or text format. We will not be showing open file option during this webinar. I just want to mention that this option is available and is designed for your specific file format. If you need to start with existing schedule, you can download from QED an existing shipping, planning, or required schedule. To do this, you need to enter selection criteria in the header, and then click on download button. Before you will be able to download information from or upload it into QED, Data Loader will check if you are authorized to maintain customer schedules. You will need to enter your QED user ID, password, and domain. Customer Schedule Maintenance Loader, as all 32 soft loaders, can only be used uh, if you have valid QED user ID and password, and in this case, access to Customer Shipping Schedule Maintenance menu in QED. User authentication uh, in the loaders is based on native QED logic where user ID, password, menus, and site securities are used. You will be asked for your user ID, password, and domain only once after opening the loader. Customer scheduled data loader will attempt to automatically identify sales orders by ship to and ship from addresses you specified in the header first. If there is more than one sales order exists for this ship from ship to combination, you will be asked to provide sales order number. 
here it tells me that there are more than one cell, so there are a number, so I need to add more information to my selection criteria. If um, no release ID is specified for download, all active schedule, schedules that meet uh, selection criteria you entered will be downloaded. Now you can click on download button again and you will see selection, uh, schedule that meets selection criteria you specified on your screen including release ID number. If um, you have multiple release IDs for the sales order, you will see word multiple in the header, in the release ID field. If you maintain your customer schedule based on the external file, for example, I have some external file coming from the customer or prepared by customer service department and I want to use it to upload my schedule. So I can use this one. I can simply copy and paste information from my schedule, from my uh, external file. Since it's Excel format, I can do it using just copy and paste. And need to add dates. Now I need to validate entered information against QED database. I just need to click on the validate button and information I entered will be validated against uh, data I have in QED. If there are any errors, lines with uh, cells with errors will be highlighted in red and if you will move mouse over the red colored cell you will see what the error is. When you enter schedules, you maintain your um, quantity in buckets. It will be either daily, weekly, or monthly buckets, and this is what's missing in my schedule. So I just need to update my buckets. And for example, I want also to, this is what I didn't copy, so that's my schedule. Now after I fixed all the errors that was shown, I want to repeat the validation. There is another error, so now it's on item number. Validate function looks for a valid item number in sales order specif you specified in the header. Customer schedule data loader allows you to add new items to existing scheduled orders. If item does not exist in the specified sales order and new lines are not allowed in the loader, you will see uh, the error here. And I see that error because I do not allow new lines in the order. If I will switch this flag and will allow this tool to add new lines to my existing sales order and will repeat validation, you will see that validation has been successful and I see description of all the items now and I see lines. Uh, for those items in my sales orders in QED, new line item that will be add does not have item line item line number assigned yet. So once you're ready to upload the schedule into QED, make sure you selected correct schedule type and start date, and you can click then on upload button to update schedule in QED. On successful upload, release number will be updated. You can see new release number signed in the release field and new line will be added to the scheduled order since we allow new lines. So you see how quickly and efficiently you can update uh, schedules in QED if you need to 
change certain quantities in the existing schedule, you just go change quantities, uh, you have very convenient interface and it's really easy to review and update quantities and um, run the update. So this was a quick, very quick in, uh, overview of our generic version of customer schedule data loader. We picked this version for the webinar due to its greatest similarity with corresponding QED functions so where you can specify schedule type, um, you can add new lines to the sales order and the whole layout is uh, designed to uh, mac to reflect the existing QED functionality to the maximum in this data loader. Uh, but we have some other versions um, that um, were simplified and they lack flexibility available in the version you just seen, but they allow to maintain schedules for multiple sales orders. I will briefly show you the layout of this version for you just to have the idea. Some of our customers who use that version um, sometimes call it um, sales forecast maintenance while, while in reality it's customer schedule maintenance. Again, it lacks some of the flexibility available in the version you just seen, but it also um, hides from the customers some of the schedule maintenance parameters make the schedule maintenance process is easier and uh, simpler. Here, again, the same logic as with any customer schedule, you select the database and then you can either copy paste your uh, sales forecast or how it's called or set of customer schedules here or you can download existing one from QED and you can see that in this case unlike in the previous loader you can um, use multiple sales orders but obviously it will be uh, schedule for one ship to. You have your item number, you have your quantities and it's just another view for the customer schedules but really simple and really easier for users to maintain. They don't even need to think about three types of customer schedules that exist in QED. They don't need to make sure that item needs to be added to the schedule order first. So that's what we try to achieve with uh, most of um, all our data loaders and this loader specifically to make it as easy as possible and as intuitive and, sim and simple as possible for the end users. So this was a quick demonstration of um, our customer schedule maintenance data loaders and now I will pass control to Denise to start Q&A part of today's webinar so you can, she can uh, ask the questions that you typed in and we'll try to answer uh, to the best we can.